In today's video, I'm gonna take you through three habits that have been adopted by some of the most successful athletes and business people in their quest to success. Now, at the end of the video, make sure that you do the work and you'll be surprised how much time you save and how much more empowered you'll be when you complete the tasks. The first habit is to be proactive. Let's look at this circle. Let's call it the circle of concern. Now the circle of concern consists of things that we have no control over, such as the weather, politics, what people think of you, the economy, and more. Now the circle of influence consists of things that you can control, like your attitude, what you read or what you learn, and who you spend time with, and much more. Now, you can either be reactive or proactive. Now, reactive people complain about things that are out of their control, and they shift the blame to others over things and circumstances that they can control. On the other hand, proactive people understand that their decisions, not their conditions, determine what happens in their lives. They don't complain about things they can't control, and they focus and take action on things that they can control. All in all, we may not have complete control over a situation, but we can control how we respond to whatever comes our way. Now, here's a quick example. Two people at uni take a test and they both fail. One blames the teacher and gives up. The other takes responsibility and ownership and then tries harder. Once again, focus on what you can control and you will bring more power into your life. Now, and if there's one habit they implement out of these three today, this is the one. Habit number two, begin with the end in mind. Now, what do you want and why do you want it? If you don't know, you're wandering around aimlessly. Imagine you're climbing a ladder that's up against a wall. You climb all the way to the top only to realize that it's the wrong wall. It's the same as your goals or mission and understanding why you're heading towards them. Otherwise, unimportant things, distractions and people will determine where you're going. So it's vital to figure out your destination first and then start working towards it. If you're not sure what your mission or your purpose is, think about the end of your life and how you want to be remembered and why you want to be remembered for that. And it should be something that you're passionate or really enthusiastic about because you weren't just put on earth to make a heap of money or to go to work. There's something much deeper, and when you dig it up, you'll be a more powerful force that has a heap of value to contribute to the world. Equally important is to write down your personal mission statement. I personally love Will Smith's. I want the world to be a better place because I was here. Read it, breathe it, live it, and the decisions that you make daily will align with your mission statement. Remember, you're the script to your life, no one else. Habit three, put first things first. Just like habit two, it starts as a thought and then becomes a reality. Ask yourself, what's the most important thing to you right now? Is it your family? Is it your study, your work, or is it your health? Not sitting on TikTok, Facebook, or Instagram, so why do you spend so much time with these useless things when you really need to get into the habit of putting first things first, true? You need to really question your habits and addictions. Have you fallen into the habit of waking up late, eating bad, leaving late for work, rushing around being disorganized, having a poor choice for lunch and then a poor choice for dinner because you haven't planned or prepped your meals? And then you go to bed late after watching some bullshit Netflix show about a hillbilly with tigers. Then you wake up late the next day to do it all over again. 
Now, this is a perfect example of not putting first things first. Writing things down on a planner or to-do list is a start, but there is no order or priority, and with one phone call or a distraction, your whole day can go to shit. There is another way, which is categorizing things by urgency or importance, like this quadrant chart. Square one is urgent and important, where we have to put out fires in a reactive type mindset. Number two is not urgent and important, like your health, exercising, and spending time with your family. This is where we should put our time, though they're often neglected. Quadrant three is where most people spend their time with not important and urgent things, like when your friend calls for you to do a favor for them, or when you get interrupted and asked to explain how to do a task by a workmate, or you simply get distracted by things that truly don't matter to you. The last block, number four, are not urgent and not important things, like flicking through social media when you're bored, most of your phone calls that come through, or simply wasting time on Netflix and things that really just aren't important. Let's look at someone who puts first things first. Now, let's call him Josh. Josh wakes up early, exercises to keep fit, he eats a healthy breakfast, giving his family a big hug and kiss before making his way to work nice and early to work on the things that are important and not urgent. And if needed, will manage the urgent and important things in quadrant one. He delegates or brushes off quadrant three activities and rejects anything in quadrant four unless it's leisure time and it's planned. At the end of the week, he plans out the next week and seems to have more time to spend doing the important things in his life. He continues his mission on who he wants to be and where he wants to end up. At the end of the day, if you were on your deathbed, would you wish you spent more time on Facebook or Instagram or watching that tiger fella on Netflix? Or what's really important to you? So now it's time you focused and made them a priority.